guess what noob noob i've got some youtube drama and maybe some alleged fraud well clearly this man is a racist oh that's just me and now it's you and me I'm the man you may know as Z, and that's Noob Noob, and we're going to talk a little bit about some YouTube drama because I need to educate Noob Noob on how to avoid charity scams. And maybe I'll help you too. You can also avoid charity scams. In the meantime, like and subscribe. Join us. Get your university degree. It's a legit degree here. Not one of those bogus Harvard or MIT degrees. This is legit straight up we're an accredited university absolutely so what we're looking at here is uh this fat racist <laughs> carl jobs jobs formerly formerly part of Al no you see no you have to see carl hello you absolute oh, legends hello you absolute legends hold on is it that that's his fucking voice <laughs> no, the guy who's describing what's going on. That's his voice. Oh. Okay, so essentially what happened is Carl Jobs, who's mostly a YouTuber who finds scam, like uh, like uh, video game cheaters, found out about this charity because it's a video game guy named The Completionist who completes all his games. And uh, he's been around for a long time, and so is Carl. And this is, this is what's going on. Hello, you absolute legends. Last month, I released two videos outlining charity fraud committed by the completionist and his charity, the Open Hand Foundation. Those two videos can basically- What if he called it the Open Fist Foundation? What? <laughs> what he do you mean? He does look like he wants to get fisted. <laughs> I mean, he has a fisting no. icon. Jihad. Gerard. Jihad, Dragon Rider, Khalil. This man is going to blow something up at some point. Are you talking about- what are you talking about? Gaza Strip. <laughs> of course. Yeah. So Carl outlines a little bit about what's going on here. Basically be summed up with three main allegations. One, the completionist committed charity fraud by making false, misleading statements about what the charity was doing in order to solicit donations. Two, the completionist stole donations that were supposed to go to the Open Hand Foundation. And three, the revenue generated by the golf tournament run by Gerard's family was not being sent to the Open Hand Foundation. These are extremely serious allegations. And to be clear, when I made those allegations, I was being extremely serious. I wouldn't say these types of things extremely what? serious i mean it's pretty serious to accuse someone of charity Stealing? fraud yeah i mean isn't every charity a fraud don't they only give yeah. like a small percentage of yeah like even things like unicef and the uh, red cross like 80 percent of the money that goes to the charity is going to cost like up like upkeep not actual charity stuff uh, there is an interesting part in here. I'm going to see if I can ploy it. And, and we will get to the completionist response so you can hear what's going on here. Essentially, what he did was his mom, his, he has a dead mother, no just boy. like your mother's dead. Oh, Jesus. No, your mother's alive. She is. But also dead. From making sandwiches for me. <laughs> Tuna fish sandwiches. Very raw fingers right now. <laughs> She's been in the kitchen. She's going to be dead if she don't make them yeah. sandwiches better, right? Daddy needs sustenance. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. So, uh, basically, his mother apparently died of Alzheimer's, and him and his family set up this charity. For the past 10 years, they've been running a charity. And he's and been he using the money for food. <laughs> he's been he's clearly well eaten. Yes. So, he's been using the, the money. He's been setting up all these other events and things, and he always says things like, oh! from the charity is going to the foundation it's going straight to the people well apparently he's never donated a cent to anyone he's just been hanging on to the money well me he's been living off the interest directed donation and he needed enough money to do that this is one of the big reasons as to why the donation took so long the organization did not raise enough money to make the impact that would allow the funds to be restricted and avoid those high admin costs 
first, I need to point out what seems to be obvious to me, but hardly anyone else seems to acknowledge. <laughs> Not passing along money people have entrusted to you to give to charity because you don't have enough money and you really want to make a restricted donation is completely bullshit. That is not- <laughs> So he's basically saying- I don't even saying, know what restricted donation means, but- I, what do you, I, well, this sounds like some gobbledygook from this guy where he's saying like, well, we didn't make the donation yet yeah, because you... we don't want the tax ramifications yet. Yeah. Right? Or he wants to be able to control where the money goes. But he's been hanging on to it for like 10 years. Oh my god. Not a sufficient reason to hold funds. This is a completely unnecessary hurdle to place. If you as an entity already have a lot of money and you want your donation to be restricted, so be it. But if you keep other people's money and mislead people because of your grandiose vision of how you think you should impact the world, you're just a pile of garbage. <laughs> At minimum, you so this guy goes pretty hard and he's pretty, he's pretty much said like yeah you could absolutely sue me there's this like whole montage in here where he's like the dude basically says like 50 different times like the money goes straight to the thing you know because he because he's got like multiple charities here why does he have so many charities is it? Is he say right here? Let's take a look. I do not. It's all going for a good money. cause. Oh, As a reminder, guys, all bits, subs, uh, donations, uh, Amazon Prime or Prime Gaming subs, and T-shirt sales all go to charity. So uh -oh. we 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 touch none of it. It all goes for a good cause. Where all the donations and bits subscriptions that are happening on stream today all go towards the charity. If you buy a T-shirt, if you buy our challenge coin, that also all goes to charity. All subs during this stream for the next three or four days go towards the foundation uh, all the money goes to the open hand foundation or right that seems pretty much like all the money is going to charity yeah right? you just keep trying to funnel it into the charity for organization that we started in honor of my mom and all that money goes to dementia research we don't touch any of it we just work with the people who do need the money if you want to buy a t-shirt you should buy a t-shirt all the proceeds go there bits subs gift subs super chats memberships anything financially involved with the show goes See, when you donate to our charity, it goes directly into our pockets because yes. we broke into this house and don't actually have. You know, we're here for your real, money. Yeah, we're yeah, here we're not financially. Here for Alzheimer's. No, we are here to. We pay probably for, have Alzheimer's because I have a hard time remembering how to get back to this house. And I have a wicked addiction to meth. Yeah, it's a hell of a drug. It's it's kind of cheap though, so we don't need that much. Money, we don't but need we that could, much. Just like we could use some. Yeah. To dementia research and all the money that we are raising whether you are giving us bits whether you're giving us subs whether you're buying t-shirts or pins or whatever the hell we're selling anything and everything in between all proceeds are going to charity a gift no all proceeds go to us for him it goes to not a fake chat see we won't lie to you about the charity we'll just straight up tell you no it goes to us so he goes on for like 10 minutes saying like oh no it's all going to us and then at some point in this video, he admits, oh, well, we have upkeep on the charity. Yeah. Which is the whole, he's making an argument about a restricted charity. But then at the same time, he's like, well, I got to pay for all this stuff. Seems sus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's sus. I think he then yeah. eventually donated like $600,000. Like thieving piece of shit. Yeah. Trying to pay I for all I'm being quite honest. Hunters. Um, not that I was trying to save face, but like, this is a, a private fight that I've been dealing with for months with my family. And I, I even told my family, Hey, this is the last Indian land I'm ever going to do. Cause this is the 10th year anniversary of my mom's passing. And, uh, when I kind of found all this information out, I was very unhappy with what things were going. And, um, he knew this was deceptive and wrong the entire time. I'm not trying to ask for forgiveness. I'm not trying to hide this, but what? What would you guys like me to do? Because I I want to do right by everyone involved on my side, and I. I How about you donate the money, <laughs> or give start? it to us? Donate the money to us. And then we he will has donate Alzheimer's. It to my house. I promise I will ask him questions as we research his Alzheimer's, and, and I, I will, will continue not to remember, ask. And I will fall asleep. I have uh, intermittent sleeping disorder uh-huh so do you want to hear his response a little bit sure for so do you understand the context now stealing money he's a crook yeah okay Allegedly. over the past few weeks allegations have been made against me my family and our charitable organization the open hand foundation asserting open charity fraud and more 
I'm here today to provide clarity and transparency to set the record. All right. I'm pretty sure if you say there's been allegations of fraud and you say I'm going to provide transparency and clarity, that means that you are also taking frauding. that Biden yep. money. Yep, you're still frauding. I mean, not Biden. I meant uh, Alexander Bowden money. Whoever that is. Somebody else. I want to make it 100% clear. Hunter. At no point in the foundation's history was there any criminal or financial fraud. None. I also want to touch on why I've been quiet for these last few weeks. <laughs> A lot I'm of folks have been saying together. that <laughs> if I didn't do anything wrong, that I should have said something sooner. Or that my conversation with the accusers was considered my full side of the story. But when there is allegation after allegation being made, it takes a long time to gather. By the way, we are not allegating you at all or him. No. No, we fully believe that this is whatever this is. The apology literally makes the accusations worse. Does this guy think that the people that are watching <laughs> and have donated are not capable of critical thinking? Probably not. Oh my gosh, for those who are curious, this video currently has 19,000 likes, 60,000 dislikes. Oh boy. I love the part where he openly admits to committing embezzlement. Oh my god. That's great. I like embezzling. Uh if you're only if you're embezzling from yourself. Or no, bedazzling. I like bedazzling. Oh, that's right. Not embezzling. Uh this wasn't an apology. This was a man child throwing a temper tantrum because he got called out. I mean, literally, it sounds like he, uh, new achievement unlocked, gaslight and threaten the community who have no ground to stand on. Oh, my gosh. You having trouble with them? Getting spicy. Look at those broken headphones he has, Ew. folks. Because this we don't have enough donations This poor child to does not have enough money. Yeah. We need money to pay for headphones we and do. for microphones. For even. every one pair of headphones you buy, Noob Noob, I will donate one penny to my own starving to your own foundation so that you can buy a mountain dew yes because those things are expensive now they are have you seen a mountain dew these days it's like three dollars too much for that much the sugar. evidence and facts to refute claims this will be my only video response on this matter oh my gosh i can confirm that as of wednesday november 29th 2023 the Open Hand Foundation has donated $600,000 to the Association for Frontotemporal Degeneration. So wait, he's been holding on to this money this whole, for like 10 years? And Only like, 600000 That seems a little light. I would like to audit the books and see what we got here. What do you think? Uh, it's, it seems a little low. It does seem a little low. So what do you think? Guilty? Oh, he's guilty. Even Take that him in the back and cook him like a pig. Oh, my God. So there you go, folks. Uh, we didn't do any of the work of uncovering. We will take over his charitable organizations. Yes. All future proceeds to his charity. Just go, go right to, to us so that we. OrcUReviews.com. No. No, that Orc, is. We don't have a website. OrcUReviews at Gmail. Email yes. us. Email us. We don't. We're so poor. We don't even have cash. Email app. us the Bitcoin. Yes, if you All can coins. email us a fraudulent link, link to Bitcoin. Dogecoin is also acceptable. Dogecoin is also acceptable. And any other kitten coins, potentially. Oh my gosh, what if we have cute kitten coins? I prefer orc coins. Or orc coins, you can pay us in that too. Monopoly <laughs> money even. Okay, we'll take one. Literally anything. We can't even afford a P.O. box, folks. Anything. Cents on the dollar. Just send me nudes of your girlfriend, that's fine too. Or your boyfriend. That... He'll take those as well. I probably not or me. Aunt and uncle, but he'll take those. Aunt and uncle. Anyway, uh, we do have memberships. You can join. Get your education here because we're clearly educating you about potentially alleged fraud schemes. We're keeping you in the loop, as well as our live stream, which you can catch on Stitcher, Spotify. I don't even know why I start with Stitcher, but iTunes, Spotify, all those great places and more for free to you. As well as our live stream, we do it here live, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Come join the party. It's a good time. We love all y'all, but we are on to the next fraud. Mm -hmm.